How pliant is this Mephistopheles, full of obedience and humility. Such is the force of magic and my spells. Now, Faustus, art thou conjurer laureate that canst command great Mephistopheles. Now, Faustus, what wouldst thou have me do? I charge thee, wait upon me whilst I live, and do whatever Faustus shall command. Be it to make the moon drop from a sphere or the ocean to overwhelm the world. I am a servant to great Lucifer, and may not follow thee without his leave. No more than he commands must we perform. Did not he charge thee to appear to me? No. I came hither of mine own accord. Did not my conjuring speeches raise thee? Speak. That was the cause, but yet per accidents. For when we hear one rack the name of God, abjure the scriptures, and his Savior Christ, we fly in hope to get his glorious soul. Nor will we come unless he use such means whereby he is in danger to be damned. Therefore, the shortest cut for conjuring is stoutly to abjure the Trinity and pray devoutly to the Prince of Hell. So Faustus hath already done and holds this principle. There is no chief but only Beelzebub to whom Faustus doth dedicate himself. This word damnation terrifies not him. But leaving these vain trifles of men's souls, tell me, what is that Lucifer, thy lord? Archregent and commander of all spirits. Was not that Lucifer an angel once? Yes, Faustus, and most dearly loved of God. How comes it then that he is prince of devils? Oh, by aspiring pride and insolence for which God threw him from the face of heaven. And what are you that live with Lucifer? Unhappy spirits that fell with Lucifer, conspired against our God with Lucifer, and are forever damned with Lucifer. Where are you damned? In hell. How comes it then that thou art out of hell? Why, this is hell, nor am I out of it. Thinkst thou that I, who saw the face of God and tasted the eternal joys of heaven, am not tormented with ten thousand hells in being deprived of everlasting bliss? Oh, Faustus. Leave these frivolous demands which strike a terror to my fainting soul. What, is great Mephistopheles so passionate at being deprived of the joys of heaven? Learn thou fastest manly fortitude and scorn those joys thou never shalt possess. Go, bear these tidings to great Lucifer. Seeing Faustus hath incurred eternal death by desperate thoughts against Jove's deity, Say he surrenders up to him his soul, so he will spare him four and twenty years, letting him live in all voluptuousness, having thee ever to attend on me, to give me whatsoever I demand, to slay mine enemies and aid my friends, and always be obedient to my will. Go and return to mighty Lucifer, and then meet me in my study at midnight, and there resolve me of thy master's mind. I will, Faustus. many souls as there be stars, I give them all for Mephistopheles. By him, I'll be great emperor of the world and make the bridge thorough the moving air to pass the ocean with a band of men. I'll join the hills that bind the Afric shore and make that country continent to Spain and both contributory to my crown. The emperor shall not live but by my leave, nor any potentate of Germany. Now that I have obtained what I desire, I live in speculation of this art, till Mephistopheles return again. <laughs> 